What's up, guys? It's Russell Hance here from Survivor. You guys have been saying that you want me to do more things on Survivor, so I've decided to start doing that on YouTube. So, I need to set up this better. So, my arm doesn't get in the way. So, today, I'm going to talk about, I have a list here, uh, I'm going to talk about the 10 Survivor players that will never see Survivor again. Now, this is only my opinion, of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure about a couple of them. Uh, the top two or three or four, I'm sure that they'll never play again. But we're going to start with number 10, and we'll go on from there. I have it written down. I don't have a teleprompter. I don't have none of that fancy stuff. I don't even have a stand to hold my damn phone. I have my hand. So... I guess I got to get all that stuff. But anyway, this is the list, and it's a pretty good list. Uh, I think that, uh, now this is only my opinion. Some of these players may play again, uh, but it's going to take a little, a little something, uh, something special for them to play again. So what we have first, number 10. Number 10, I have a guy that is not his fault. His name is Rudy. If you remember Rudy, I should have Googled how old he is, but he has to be in his 80s now. So uh, you, you would think that I came prepared for this, but obviously I didn't. Rudy's, uh, he's an older gentleman now. I think the only reason he won't play is because of his age. So I have him at number 10 because it's not fair that, uh, you know, he's getting a little older. I heard a few things maybe about his memory, which is terrible. But uh, with things like that in his life going on, it's probably best he stays home and he enjoys his family. So I don't think Rudy will ever play again. Next, number nine, we have Alex from David versus Goliath. Now, I have Alex pretty low at number nine because he may play again. Uh, you never know, but uh, I don't think any of these people will actually play again. Like I said, different circumstances may let them play again. The reason Alex uh, probably won't play again is because they made a statement with Alex by not inviting him to the live show because he, he posted a picture of him and Kara, and under the picture, he put, F it. Okay, I'm going to make this kid friendly. So, you know, uh, blatantly doing things like that, uh, it, it hurt him, and it's going to hurt his chances to play again. So, I think that's it with Alex. Number eight, we have Cochran. Now, the only reason I say Cochran on this list is because he works, directly works for CBS. Uh, and that is a conflict of interest. Uh, most recently, they have, I have a few winners on this list. And most recently, there's a rumor going that they're about to play winners, right? And uh, Cochran wasn't on that rumored list. And uh, Cochran wasn't on that rumored list, which says a lot because he's one of their favorites, right? He's one of Jeff's favorites. So uh, if Jeff wants him back, he would be back regardless. But I think that that shows a lot that he is uh, not on that list of winners. Uh, that shows that he probably will not play again. And I uh, think I read somewhere that he said he wanted to go out on top, which is good for him. Congratulations, he won the game. Goes on on top, whatever. Okay, number seven. <clears throat> now this this may be a little uh, little tricky for me and my family because uh, you know there's issues, there's family. I love all my family, but I'm real and I tell it as it is. So I don't have them that four down, but I have Brandon Hance as number seven. Now, the reason he probably won't be back, I'm only saying this, and this, these are all my opinions, is because I heard from a really reliable source, and I told Brandon about it, that uh, they said, will Brandon Hance ever play again? As Jeff himself, Jeff quoted, uh, off the record, no, he will not. They asked him if Russell Hans would ever play again. He said, if the circumstances come to where the seasons make sense. So, that's all I'm going to say about that, and then uh, we'll move on. Now, I have number six, another one that, uh, you know, talking a little mess and uh, got him in trouble. 
It's Shane Powers. Now, I have a, a few quotes here by Shane <coughs> that puts him probably puts him out of the running. He, uh, he said that Je Jeff Probst doesn't have the chops to do anything other than what he's doing right now, and that's Survivor. Uh, that's that comment. Really, none of these probably hurt Jeff's feelings, but he went on a rant and rave when Lynn Spillman got fired. Uh, they were good friends. Obviously, I was close with Lynn. A lot of people were close with Lynn, but he lashed out on Jeff. Uh, he also said that uh, he was a ragged douchebag and he was an egomaniac that uh, didn't want anyone else to get the credit for Survivor except him. I know Jeff personally. I know him better than uh, Shane does. And I think that uh, Jeff's not that person at all. If somebody does something right, he gives them credit. Uh, it, that's just how Jeff is. I don't think that uh, he, he, I think that it was an overall decision, not just by Jeff, to, to let Lynn Spillman go. They decided to make that decision. They stood on it, they let her go. They trying to move the game of Survivor forward in a better direction. And uh, you can clearly see they're doing that now. Okay, Shane's number six. Next in line, we have number five. Uh, Chase Rice. Now, I don't think Chase will ever play again. Uh, I have my opinions on Chase. I know Chase personally. I did an event with Chase. Uh, I thought he was a cool guy, but now uh, he doesn't talk about Survivor to anybody. Half the country music community uh, doesn't even know Chase played Survivor, which is crazy to me because they gave him an opportunity to play his music on stage. He said that he only played Survivor to get his music out there. Well, give him a little credit, man. Give him a little credit, you know? They're the reasons you, that you're famous now. He does not want to say that. He does not want to give them the credit. Uh, kind of like the number four. Now, I don't know if number four, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, uh, gave Survivor the credit. I know she talks uh, good about Survivor, but uh, obviously she won't play again. She makes millions in her TV career. I don't know what she's doing now. She used to be on The View, doing her thing there. I don't even know uh, if she's on TV anymore, but she's not playing again. Now, we're in the top three, right? Uh, crazy, we have, no, we have actually 11 people on here. Uh, number two has two people because they did the same thing. Uh, but these, top, these four people in the top three uh, will never play the game again ever ever number three Colton Cumby Colton quit the game twice now they let him back knowing he quit Jeff knew he quit and uh, he allowed him back which is amazing and then he did the same thing the second time he played he quit again so Colton will never mark my words he will never play Survivor again Okay, now we have, it is hot out here, so excuse me. My dad do a little dabbing, dabbing the sweat off. Okay, number two is very interesting because we have two people in number two. We have JT, which is probably shocking to a lot, of all, a lot of you, and Randy. Now, like I said, we just had an all-winner season. JT one of the, was one of the most popular winners of all times. He was super popular. He got all the votes. JT was super popular and uh, well-liked. He went from an extremely great player to one of the worst players in history. Matter of fact, he won with it, with all the votes. And he, when he, in Heroes vs. Villains, he was voted the dumbest player in the history of the game for obvious reasons. Just saying. So uh, we have JT... Uh, hearsay uh, this is all hearsay uh, Randy and JT both uh, had a little experiment with drugs and different things like that when they got voted off while they were in uh, the control of uh, S S uh, of Survivor and uh, CBS so while they were in their possession they decided to do their own thing JT got in a lot of trouble I wasn't there. I just heard little little things, but it was like a serious matter with JT. Uh, the the jails were involved. The hospitals were involved. Uh, Randy, I don't think it was that deep, but uh, those two will never play again. 
uh, you know, once you once you uh, start doing things like that, <coughs> especially dealing with drugs, they can allow things like that back because uh, it worries them. They have to keep everybody safe that's there, including yourself, including the people that's there. And if uh, they don't want to have that, uh, you know, that kind of thing uh, on their conscience, if something major happens, it would shut down the whole show. So I don't think, even though, even though, uh, you know, I know people can change and uh, I'm not saying that they do this kind of stuff now. Uh, I'm just saying they did it then and they did it to uh, the people that gave them this opportunity. So I don't think they'll ever play again. That's Randy and JT. So next, number one, I can guarantee you, without a doubt, I will bet my house, my car, my bank account that number one will never play again, and that's Michael Scoopit. Uh, if you've been following the news lately, he got arrested. He got not only he can say what he wants. He was convicted of child porn on his computer. Uh, that's unacceptable. I used to be friends with the guy. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, I would uh, I would talk to him, uh, try to help the guy if he needs some kind of help, but uh, that's unacceptable. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, uh, I, I would I would hate to see that they would allow somebody like that back. Uh, it is what it is. He, uh, you know, he did what he did. He was convicted of it. Child porn is not a joke. It is very serious. To me, it is as serious as murder, and you deserve to be punished. So that is my number one, Michael Scoopin. So this is my top 10 survivor players that will never play again. And uh, I'm going to do things like this. I'm going to keep doing thing like, things like this. If I could, you know, if you guys subscribe and you like, then I can, uh, I'll keep posting things like this depending on how many people enjoys it and how many wants to you know watch me do this kind of thing so uh, subscribe uh, like it and let's keep doing it i'll keep talking survivor if you want me to if you guys subscribe to my channel and and i know that you're interested in me talking about survivor then we can make different lists with different things like this i think it's fun and interesting uh gives you a little insight and in what's going on in the world of survivor so uh in Come join me with my YouTube channel, and I appreciate it. Comment below. I'll comment back, and thanks for watching, guys. See you. Keep up alive.